But now to a child abuse case here in Houston that made headlines across the country. A mother accused of locking her young stepson in a closet and nearly starving him to death. The trial got underway today. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is in court downtown with what happened. Roseanne. That's right, Keith, that mother's biological son faced a jury telling them that he found his stepbrother inside a hidden closet door, foaming at the mouth and nearly starving. He also says his mother would try to convince him what they were doing was okay. The state called its first witness, now 21-year-old Cody Frank, who says he was just a teen when he found out that his mother and his stepfather were keeping his stepbrother, Jordan Bleemeyer, in a small closet under the stairs. His mother, 38-year-old Tammy Bleemeyer, is charged with injury to a child and endangering a child after investigators found her then 5-year-old stepson emaciated and hurt in 2014. Tammy's biological son, Cody Frank, said at the beginning the parents treated Jordan the same as everyone else. But then then they said they noticed Jordan started disappearing. When Frank asked what happened, his parents would tell him it was none of his business, he says, or that Jordan was in a timeout. Frank's chilling account included pictures of that small crawl space, which he said was a small hidden door inside a main closet. Inside, he says, were nails, exposed sockets, and wiring, as well as what he claims was pieces of firecracker paper. Frank described his mother as in control and Jordan's father as physically abusive. He said at one point Jordan was never allowed at the dinner table because he was always in trouble, sometimes allowed to eat a piece of bread. Frank said he also heard sounds of tasing and Jordan screaming to his dad to stop. Jordan's father, Bradley Bleemeyer, was convicted in 2016 and was sentenced to 15 years behind bars. The defense challenged the credibility of the witness and claimed that the father is at fault. Now, Tammy's fate is in the hands of a jury. The state has called its second witness. We'll also hear more about what the defense had to say coming up at 6. Reporting live downtown, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.